So we finally have our hands on Modern Warfare 3 again, and we're getting closer and closer to finally having the full release of the game. But in this little beta that we are being able to experience here, there are a lot of awesome things that we're getting to see about Modern Warfare 3. And I'm telling you right now, it's getting me really excited for the full release of the game. Probably the biggest thing that people are stoked about with this new game is slide cancel. And the fact that it's finally coming back to Call of Duty. And I can confidently tell you that, yeah, the slide canceling feels really good in this game. Something that I'm finding with the slide cancel in Modern Warfare 3 so far is that it's more reliable if you double tap the crouch button instead of just hitting it the one time. You can still manage to do slide cancel no matter what, but it just, I find for myself, it's more reliable if I double tap the B button or the crouch button before actually hitting my jump again. Another thing that I actually like so far a lot about Modern Warfare 3 is actually the audio feedback that you get from firing your weapon and hitting shots. I'm sure that this is very much dependent on the weapon that you're actually using, but firing the MCW or the ACR in this game sounds really good. It's extremely punchy. It sounds thick it just hits really hard and it actually makes firing the gun that much more enjoyable and coupled that with the fact that there's a new hit marker sound that plays when you hit your shots Oof, it's so good man it, it sounds almost artificial and cartoony it's kind of weird but i love it oh man just listen to that sound oh it's beautiful now something that is extremely apparent when you play modern warfare 3 is that the time to kill has been slowed significantly down, honestly. You know, in Modern Warfare 2, as long as you hit a headshot, you are gonna get your kill in like a fraction of a second. But here in Modern Warfare 3, it takes a lot longer and you definitely need to hit your shots. And I'll tell you, I, I'm actually here for it. It feels really good and it's more satisfying when you do hit your shots as well. And I'll tell you what, in this game, I'm absolutely here for the change because it makes it more satisfying when you do get your kills. And you know, the other thing too, having a longer TTK actually allows for more possibilities of getting out plays. You know, another thing I'll tell you what, that's even better in terms of firing your weapon, it's there's so much less visual recoil now. There's no smoke that's just blasting through your face and making it impossible to see where you're shooting. Oh man, it is a breath of fresh air. I'm really a huge fan of the way that they have toned down the visual recoil in this game. There's honestly just so many things about this beta so far that I'm really, really enjoying. It's It plays well, man. It's, it's a breath of fresh air from playing Modern Warfare 2 this year. There's just a lot of quality of life updates to this game that make it so much more enjoyable to experience than what we've gotten from Modern Warfare 2. Now, I will say one thing that has been very interesting to experience actually has been the fact that they've definitely toned down the aim assist on controller. You are not able to lock onto enemies nearly as easily as you were able to in Modern Warfare 2. There's just not as much aim assist on controller and it actually kind of feels a little similar to x defiant believe it or not and when you add in the fact that there's a longer time to kill in this game it makes getting kills that much more satisfying now we are in a beta so of course things can change you know it may not stay like this for forever but it's what I'm experiencing right now. And for people that are brand new to this game and are jumping into it for the first time, it's something to pay attention to. You know, this is super minor, but I actually really like the after match XP screen. I know it's similar to how it was in Modern Warfare 2, but it just, it feels really clean and I like it a lot. And I'll tell you what, this pre-game screen is so nice, the pre-game lobby giving me old school Call of Duty vibes. Oh my God, I'm so glad that they've made that change for Modern Warfare 3. You know, and also talking about the time to kill, something that is interesting about Modern Warfare 3 right now is that headshots, while useful, are not the most important thing when it comes to getting a kill in this game. You actually don't need to get headshots to consistently get kills in this game. I believe they said something to the fact that they actually toned down the multipliers for getting headshots in this game, so it actually makes it a little more even across the board. Now, one thing that I'm definitely still having a hard time with is seeing my enemies in Modern Warfare 3. It's still not extremely clear who is who in this game when you're firing your gun. I believe that they've added a change to where now you have nameplates above the enemies, but at least in my experience so far, yes, that does make it a little more helpful. But I'll just be candid with you here. So far, playing Modern Warfare 3 has felt really freaking nice. You know, it's probably just a honeymoon phase of me playing something new, of course, but I'm just saying, like, I've enjoyed my time so far. It's been a good time. And honestly, I just can't wait to play more of this. The full release of this game looks like it's going to be pretty good. And, and in my last video, I talked about how I, up to this point, everything has pointed towards the gameplay from Modern Warfare 3 being really good. But the biggest thing that's gonna be problematic is going to be the skill-based matchmaking. And I still think that after playing this, that's definitely going to be the case. I think the biggest problem this game is going to have is its SBMM. 
and what that does to its players. But I mean, so far, dude, the maps have been really enjoyable. This is actually my very first time ever playing all of these maps before. I've never played the original Modern Warfare 2, and all these maps, too, are brand new to me. So for me, unlike a lot of other people, this is a honestly brand new experience. Like, this is a brand new game to me, and I like it quite a lot so far. It's a good time. Man, I'll tell you what, slide cancel in this game is definitely contributing to faster overall gunplay. This is crazy, man. Not playing a Call of Duty with slide cancel and then now playing it with slide cancel, it's a huge difference. It's not even close. All in all, when you guys hop into Modern Warfare 3, whether it's in the beta or in the final game. You guys definitely have a really good time ahead of you. So far, my experience has been fantastic. I'm excited to see how this moves forward. Will I continue to enjoy it? We'll find out. But I hope you guys hop in during the beta, and if you don't, definitely make sure to check it out on full release because so far it's been fantastic. Make sure to check out this other video on screen now if you want to see more content from me, and also subscribe for more Call of Duty and X Defiance content.